Salutations, respected viewers. I'm George from Ireland. I'm in Hatton Gardens, London. Uh, so this street is famous for being the centre of the diamond trade uh, in the United Kingdom. And one of the major centres for diamond um, dealing in the world. The other ones are Amsterdam, Tel Aviv, ooh, and I'm not quite sure, maybe New York. Um, so you'll, you'll see loads of shops selling diamonds and other jewellery up and down here. Uh, it's named in honour of Sir Christopher Hatton, who was Lord Chancellor under Queen Elizabeth I. Uh, Lord Chancellor, um, in more recent years, has been the Secretary of State for Justice. Back then was the king, the, the king or queen's main minister. There was no prime minister as such. Um, won't go too much into the history of what a, what a Lord Chancellor is. Um, so we are quite close to a Chancery Lane tube station. That's, that's probably the best way to get here. Is that that street Holborn beside us, and you'll see various shops selling diamonds all along. Um, and down the alleyway, there is a fantastic, atmospheric, very historic pub called the Mitre. Mitre being a bishop's hat. Mitre, which uh, the Mitre pub, which dates back to 1546. Uh, Mitre, of course, is is the um, hat that a bishop wears. It's redolent of um, Pentecost when the flame supposedly came out of the heads of the twelve disciples when they met um, after Jesus' ascension. They're quite frightened. So I'll show you where the Mitre pub is, uh, down this little alleyway off, off Hatton Garden. So I don't know why it won't let me do um, landscape YouTube, only let me do portrait. Make sure you're subscribed. Uh, so this is it. These big beer barrels, empty I'm afraid, in case you had some get drunk quick plans. Um, there is a bit of the mitre with the semi-frosted brown glass, like the glass of a beer bottle in the old days. And there is the sign, the mitre. Um, and I suppose I, I, I shan't go in. They probably wouldn't want me to film inside, but it's been a, it's been a film location, and uh, it's been a, it was used for lock, stock, and two smoking barrels as a location, for example. It's a very small, very atmospheric, and it's got a little fire, and they serve. They serve simple meals there. Somebody coming out? Maybe. Mm. Just give you an idea of what it's like. Okay, I better better head. I better head. Um, I hope they they wouldn't want me intruding in their privacy. Uh, <clears throat> so I don't propose to go too much up and down um, Hatton Garden, but just give you a flavour of it. And there was a there was a failed um, burglary here over Easter weekend, um, 2015. Easter weekend is a four-day weekend in the United Kingdom. Good Friday is a day off, um, as is obviously the Saturday, as is Easter Sunday, and then there's Easter Monday. So the only four-day weekend in the year. So some guys here thought this would be a good time to break in, and they rented a nearby building. I think they pretend they're going to set up a shoe shop or something like that. And they stayed there over Easter weekend when you expect nobody to be around. And they were digging a tunnel trying to break, come into one of these diamond shops and steal all the diamonds. But it, it, And I think they actually got away with it. They got the diamonds. But somehow they were caught and traced and they'd hidden some of them in a graveyard and they all got arrested. But they're all career criminals, real veterans of the underworld. But um, they were caught and forced to disgorge their ill-gotten lucre. So they were sent down for not even that long. And some people think it's hilarious. There was talk of a film about it and it was going to keep some of Britain's um, uh, senior actors in work for years, playing these fairly elderly Cockney um, criminals. Um, so a heist and nobody was physically harmed. Some people thought that was great. Anyway, so that's probably enough about, um, about Hatton Gardens. Come here to purchase diamonds or indeed sell them if you've got certificates. We can't be buying blood diamonds anymore because the Sierra Leone conflict was partly sustained by people um, getting diamonds there and selling them on in places like this. Uh, so if you're getting engaged, you know, and you have to pop the question to the lovely lady in your life, this is where you'd come to um, buy her a diamond ring. Now the custom was in this realm, you're supposed to spend one month's salary on the diamond ring. And then looking up here, looking at these figures, Look at that guy, he's got a body like me, lucky chap. Wow. So yeah, I have the body of a trained athlete, a sumo wrestler. But that's enough for the moment, so I'm going to switch it off and say goodbye from, from Hatton Gardens. So make sure you subscribe to George from Ireland and book all sorts of online lessons with me in any humanities subject. Choose me to help you with essays and dissertations and edit things, translate things from French, Spanish, Italian, 
German, Romanian or Russian and uh, pick music tour guide in London. All right then, so follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook and thank you for those donations. Uh, Toodle pip.